the wisteria is starting to fade. The petals are falling off of the dogwood tree. And it's time to walk. Let's go. <laughs> Obviously, the tree guy was unable to come yesterday, so he's uh, supposed to come tomorrow. Tomorrow, and we'll say goodbye to the dead tree. And whoa, that just gave me vertigo, just looking up like that. Not good. So yeah, starting off this way, um, I'm I'm mystified by the home building process. I just have to say that, and I know it's a it's a, a it's a dance between the different contractors that you use for the different things. You know, concrete guys are not carpenters, who are not roofers, who are not uh, HVAC, who are not electricians. Um, and the windows are in. But those have been in, right? <laughs> you know, the garage door went in on the other one. I don't understand why uh, so many days go by and nothing's happening. But there's stuff, there's cardboard boxes and stuff in there. So maybe that's from the window people and I just couldn't hear them. I don't know. I think it's weird. I'm breathing heavy because I'm hustling. So I apologize for that. Today's listening is a guy talking about how you know, everything you know about cholesterol is probably wrong. Same guy that I talked about that did the actuaria tables. Now he's talking about a finished study with like 100,000 people in it. So if your doctor tries to prescribe you statins, tell them no. You're going to change your diet. I don't know what this is, but look at that. That is just fantastic, is it not? That's awesome. Come on, Crow, make that noise again. Well, it's happening. Man, that's scary. Dude, you're freaking me out. Nice shot, Tex. So it's all down. Uh, we are taking out as much of the little stuff as we can and moving it to the back to clean it up. And then he came back and grabbed that stuff with his little machine. He also had gone to get his big saw up and running. The oil um, cap had come off of it and you need to lubricate the chain, of course, when you are cutting wood down like this. So yeah, this is more of the progress and I'm gonna stop talking and you're gonna keep watching. That pile became huge, but we'll get to it, no worries. Notch out of that. Okay, while I have the opportunity to talk about it, because um, there's nobody out here with me. Oh, um, so trees down, as you can see behind me here, big wall of, of shrub stuff. Wait, which direction? No, this direction. Right there, ish, in there. Um, I have now, let me flippy flippy. So I've, oh, have my talking. I've also have now just cleaned out the fire pit so that we can uh, have fires and build all this stuff up because we've got a lot of stuff that we can burn, especially all the old wood. I'm going to have to get that stuff really hot so that I can burn some of that old wood. Uh, and um, so the guy who's cutting down our tree, nice guy. Oh, there are people out next door. Um, he, it's his daughter's 10th birthday, so that he has done as much as he has this evening is pretty darn impressive. So we're relying on him now with his dingo 
to just move all the remaining pieces, the big pieces, back behind the sunflowers. And that'll be it. Uh, the problem is, is that, of course, I haven't paid him yet, and we are uh, getting on an airplane at like 5 a.m. So if he doesn't come back tonight, um, that's gonna be awkward. Well, I mean, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, um, I am not gonna replace any of this stuff, but I have watered everything that I'm gonna water. I'm feeling better. I just realized that I hadn't filmed anything earlier in the day before the tree guy got there. So you don't know that I was uh, sick all day. I woke up at like uh, five o'clock in the morning in a sweat because I had rolled over onto my side and vertigo had flipped me so badly that I like was nauseated and was sweaty. And that lasted for a while until I tried to fix it with uh, one particular maneuver you can do and you can look it up. Um, but anyway, I had my head and I was on my haunches and I put my head down and in the bathroom and then the, it spun worse and I, I threw up which was a bummer knowing that I was gonna be flying soon. So later comments will uh, make more sense now that I've remembered to tell you this. We have a friend who's a, a doc and he's not our doc. Um, I don't have a PCP and we had that conversation actually. Um, because um, we just, you know, I was with Mercy and it was, uh, I needed a Mercy doc because that was the cheap way to go. And anyway, he gave me a prescription for something to help with the really the movement, the motion sickness part of the vertigo. Uh, not, ex not the vertigo directly itself. Um, I'm gonna need two hands, so that was good. But I'm feeling a whole lot better. I mean, still, I'm still woozy, still wobbly. Um, he looked at my eyes and he looked for like random eye movement. Uh, when a person does some things, you know, moves their eyes quickly and that was still there. So we said that I'm currently, his words were, I'm still currently active with the vertigo. So yeah, that'll help with the trip though. All right, uh, I'm sweaty again. I've already showered twice today. Once, I can't remember. Showered before I went and saw him. Ooh, all right, I uh, hope your day was better than my day. It was actually a, a pretty expensive day. Well, including the tree, we also renewed my uh, pass, my Disney pass. <laughs> Have you seen the little uh, fun little, I'll, I'll try to find that and screenshot it, or screen record it and put it in here. Some guy, it's a, you know, it was, I don't know, TikTok little prank and he's at Disney World. He said, I'm at Disney World, I'll just tell you. He said, I'm at Disney World and I'm gonna give a complete stranger $1,500. And then they cut and he's standing at the guest services booth saying, yeah, I'd like to renew my annual pass. On yet another flip side, when I was outside doing some stuff and I ended up talking to my neighbor, um, she's like, have you lost weight? You've lost weight. And I'm like, yeah. She says, you've lost like 20 pounds, which is almost exactly how much I've lost. She's a skinny mini herself, so I guess she's just good at spotting those things, but she was right. Well, there you go. That's the progress so far. Blew off the patio, cleaned up as much of the little branches as we could, did other stuff, and I guess the guy's gonna come back tomorrow. And we'll be gone, and Ben will have to pay him, so Christy will have to be in touch with him in some way, shape or form. I could always put the envelope in a Ziploc bag between the back doors. Uh, that's kind of blocking that. All right, so bye tree, it's been fun. Bye.